Is it scary? Mm. <laughs> My dearest Allie, from the moment I met you, I knew you were someone special. You made me feel things I had never felt before, and never thought of you would brought an irresistible smile to my face. As I got to know you more, I found myself falling deeper in love with you. Your kindness and unwavering heart for the Lord have inspired me to be the best version of myself from the very beginning. Together we've navigated many phases of life. We've shared high school, endured a pandemic, and experienced college. Through each stage we've grown together, and with that growth, my love for you has only deepened. Your patience amazes me, and I am constantly learning from your example. Allie, there is no doubt in my mind, in my heart, that God placed you in my life for a purpose. You have been my constant source of joy, my companion through challenges, and my comfort in times of grief. Through every season, you are the one my heart has chose to love again and again. I pray that I never have to live a day without you, for I come to rely on your love in all that I do. Today, you are no longer just my girlfriend or my fiance. You are my bride. I cannot wait to experience new chapters of life with you, to grow in our faith together, and to build a family with you as my bride. Allie, from this day forward, I promise to stand by your side. Through our highs and lows, no matter what comes, one thing will remain unshaken, our love for each other. Today, in front of our family and closest friends, I vow to love you, to cherish you, for all the days God gave us. I love you. Andrew, as we officially begin our future together as one, I want to reflect on the journey we went on to get here. When we discuss how we met, we both reflect on how we acted out of character, being bold and reaching each other. This simultaneous boldness reflects just the beginning of how God began intertwining our stories. We have grown exponentially as individuals in the past five years, and I consider it a great blessing being able to sit front row in your world. You have a patience that lies farther than surface level, loving me through my best and worst. I show you my ugliest parts and testament to the comfort you provide me. Even in the past, when I doubted our relationship and God's plan for my life, you did not shame me or accuse me of not loving you. You welcomed me with an understanding heart, letting me continue to have a safe place to work through my confusion. You are the person I seek to share every experience with. My excitement grows as my independent trips end, knowing I will get to live every moment with you. When we spend time with friends making jokes, you are the first person I look to in making my own joke. I experience no greater joy than making you laugh. I can't even get mad when you steal my under the breath jokes, knowing I made you proud. I love that you also have joy in making me happy, proven in one way by how you send me pictures of every sunrise you experience, knowing my appreciation of God through your work. I love your fascination with Bucky's, and that you can never sing lyrics right, no matter how many times you put the song. I love your caring heart that reaches to include those people who are unseen. I love your passion for sports, including Notre Dame football, and have you to thank for making me an Irish fan. Sorry, Mom. Andrew, for our future, I hope we continue to see God's hand at work in our lives. He is the giver of all blessings, and I have him to thank for my greatest blessing and my best friend. Amen.